It's Oshkosh week, and if you take a look at the flight line, you'll find a ton of World War II bombers and transports, and almost all of them are powered by radial engines, which leads us to a question we got last week. How does a radial engine work? And the answer is, just about like every other reciprocating engine, it follows a four-stroke cycle. The first stroke is the intake stroke, and that's where the downward-moving piston sucks the fuel-air mixture through the intake manifold and the intake valve. Then, as the piston begins to move up, it compresses that mixture in the compression stroke. Right before the piston hits the very top, the spark plugs fire, and those sparks start burning the fuel-air mixture, causing the gases to expand and forcing the piston back down in the power stroke. And then the crankshaft starts spinning the piston back up to the top, forcing out the burned fuel-air mixture in the exhaust stroke. If you're looking at a radial engine from behind, as you would from the pilot seat, you'll find that the cylinders are numbered in clockwise order. So on this engine, they'd be numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And a radial engine follows a very specific firing order. Here, you alternate cylinders. So it would be 1, 3, 5, 2, and 4. Radial engines were used because they could generate a lot of power, and they were really, really simple. They had very short crankshafts, which could be very, very strong, because you really didn't need a lot of length between your prop and your cylinders. And you could fit up to nine cylinders around your crankshaft. However, as time went on, nine cylinders didn't give you enough power, so we started to add more and more rows of cylinders. In fact, the Wasp Major had four rows of seven cylinders for a total of 28 cylinders. It was used on the B-36 Peacemaker, which had six Wasp Majors pushing propellers and four turbojet engines. The slogan was originally six turning and four burning, but the Wasp Major had a problem. It didn't cool really well. As the air moved past the first roll of cylinders, it did a great job, but it got warm, and so each successive row of cylinders was less efficient to cooling, and the Wasp Major had a tendency to catch on fire. So crews gave it a new nickname, Two turning, two burning, two smoking, two choking, and two more unaccounted for. At the end of the day, turbojets replaced the radial powered piston engines simply because they were much more reliable and they could generate a ton more horsepower. But that's a lesson for another day.